Hey guys, today we are talking about Monjero, Zepbound, and Compounders Epitide side effects and remedies. I am in my third month on compound terzepatide. I'd say I'm one of those people whose side effects have been in the middle, nothing severe, um, but I have had them. And I did do a lot of research ahead of time about side effects and remedies. And I also have stayed on a low dose this entire time. So I think that's part of why I haven't had too bad of side effects. That is a big tip. I will keep preaching to the choir that if you, are on a low dose and it is working for you don't go up it probably won't make you lose weight any faster and it will make you more sick so in this video we're going to talk about specific side effects for being on a terzepatide medication and what you can do to make it better of course always be talking to your provider if you have anything severe take that to your provider this is my personal experience and my personal research and things that have helped Nausea is really common, and this is the one I was probably the most worried about because I had really, really hard pregnancies. I had two pregnancies where I had extreme morning sickness all nine months, and it was absolutely miserable. And I would say nausea is the thing I was worried about the absolute most on the medication. It has been very manageable. I do have nausea sometimes, um, usually around days two or three after taking a dose, and it's like it's nothing like that miserable pregnancy nausea it is maybe just like a little car sick feeling and if i pound some water um, sometimes if i eat something sometimes that just doesn't sound good but um, maybe have an electrolyte drink i usually feel a lot better it's usually just on those specific days days two and three after having a shot and it usually comes and goes if you are having um, kind of more extreme nausea, you can talk to your doctor about getting a Zofran prescription. Zofran is prescription anti-nausea. I just would keep in mind that that can make constipation worse. So I wouldn't jump to that. Some things you can do to make your nausea feel a little better, have some mint, have some ginger tea, have some crackers, have um, Sprite, an electrolyte drink. Sometimes chewing really minty gum can make me feel a lot better. So I would try those kind of natural things before you go straight to the Zofran. Indigestion is common on this medication. It slows gastric emptying. Everything is just working a little differently than it was before. You may have just some little upper tummy pains. Things might feel different. Some people say they have burps. Indigestion can be common. I would just focus on eating small meals, chewing really, really thoroughly, keeping um, really well hydrated. I found something that helps me is doing a little bit of intermittent fasting. Since gastric emptying takes so much longer, I find uh, not eating after dinner and then delaying breakfast a little just kind of helps everything you know, empty out and helps prevent gastric trouble during the day. Some people say they have heartburn. If you're just having kind of a tummy ache and heartburn, Tums are okay to take. Constipation is another super common one on the medication. So it's great if you can do some natural things like staying really well hydrated, have a high fiber, high protein diet, fiber supplements like fiber drinks or bars, they're fine to take. A probiotic can help. If you're still uncomfortable, you might want to consider a stool softener. Stool softeners are usually a little more gentle than actual laxatives. Headaches can happen if you are having a headache. I would first make sure that you've eaten enough that day because you might just be hungry because your body might just be needing some nutrients and I would definitely make sure that you are well enough hydrated. So on these medications, sometimes we don't feel as thirsty and so we need to make sure we are getting enough water for our body. Also because we are not consuming as much nutrients, we're not getting as many electrolytes. So having an electrolyte drink can also help prevent that. It's fine to take over the counter Tylenol or Ibuprofen if you need something to make you feel a little better. Diarrhea can happen. The gastric emptying is just different. To avoid this, I would make sure you are eating small meals. We don't want to upset the tummy eating foods that you know are easy to digest. Avoid sugary foods, avoid fried foods. Make sure you're chewing your food really well. If it does happen, make sure you're staying really well hydrated, have an electrolyte drink, and drink plenty of water. Fatigue is a super common complaint on this medicine. 
and it makes sense when you think about it. So calories are energy. And when we're on this medication, we're eating a portion of what we were before. And so that's less energy. It's less vitamins and nutrients. It's less protein. It's less electrolytes. So we need to focus on the diet we have, making sure it's really healthy, high in protein, high in fiber, high in vitamins. Maybe have that electrolyte drink once a day. Definitely take a multivitamin. Prioritize your rest. Make sure you're getting solid sleep. I've started taking a magnesium supplement at night and I feel like it helps my sleep definitely. And then it also helps my energy throughout the day, maybe because I'm sleeping better, but maybe because I was a little magnesium deficient in my diet. So that has helped me. Exercise and sunlight can actually help fatigue. So getting sunlight can just kind of wake up your body and then exercise is just so important for so many reasons and it's so good for your metabolistic function. And I know that even if I'm dragging that day after a workout, I feel a lot better. If you can take a nap, I mean, the days that I can take an afternoon nap, I feel so much better. I definitely recommend taking a nap if you can. I get it, you can't always but it certainly helps. Hair loss can happen, and again, we're getting less nutrients in our body when we're on these medicines. So prioritizing your diet, maybe adding a collagen supplement or drink or something, that can help. I personally have not noticed this one, but I do have pretty thick hair. And injection site pain. You know, you're giving yourself a shot once a week, so that's really painful to some, and there are a few things you can do to help. So if you're using an alcohol wipe to cleanse your skin, let that dry all the way before the shot because if it's wet, sometimes that will make it sting. Also, if you let your shot come to room temperature before you give it to yourself, that can help reduce pain. I have found I am much less bothered by the shot in my thighs versus my stomach. In my thighs, I honestly hardly notice it while it would sting a little on my stomach, so that's something to try if you haven't. If you do experience some muscle soreness, you can definitely take like a Tylenol or something. All right, I hope these tips were helpful. If you have any tips that I missed, feel free to leave them in the comments. Also, feel free to chat in the comments. Tell me where you're at with your journey, how you're doing. Are you on the name brand? Are you on the compound? I'll have info about the compound program I'm doing in the description box. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I'd love if you subscribed if you have not already. Let me know if you have any questions for me and I will see you in my next video.